Ooh. Um, excuse me? What do you think you're doing? That's mine. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Guess what? We are doing something I've never done before today. I have a Gymshark haul here of all men's stuff. This is really exciting because I just got to thinking we have like 50% of the website that we don't even look at. Not for nothing, but Gymshark's men's section has really dope stuff. Colors that I live for, super casual, almost athleisure looks. They make to be the perfect casual looking fits. I'm obsessed. Bay actually, who's a Gymshark addict as well, He has said many times that Gymshark's men's fits are a little bit slimmer. So I felt like this could really work for us gals, perhaps? Believe it or not, I've actually had quite a few DMs of some of you girls asking me to try on some men's clothing. So here we are today to explore the unknown territory of the Gymshark men's section. We have a really nice variety here today, so before we get into this video, definitely hit that subscribe button. I make Gymshark videos on the reg. Tons of unreleased hauls all the time. So if you want the first sneak peek, then definitely subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok sees hauls first because together we got this. Okay, let's go try on some men's stuff, shall we? Ooh, coming at you with that taxi cab yellow, that bumblebee yellow, that sunflower yellow. Hello. Everything you see today is a size small. They don't have extra small or else I probably would have gotten an extra small. So I stuck with a size small. Everything pretty much works for me though. I don't know where to start with this outfit. I'm gonna start with the shorts. We are looking at the quad shorts. Five inch inseam, oh my God, why on earth is this not in the women's section, Gymshark, if you're watching? Please share these shorts. I want it in the women's section, thank you. But if not, I'm gonna just keep buying it from the men's section. I need one in every color. What other colors they come in? I don't remember. These are super comparable to like the throw on shorts that everybody loves. This is that same vibe, right? We got like the band, the loose fit, cottony based, really comfy casual, but yet like still got that little bit of stretch. But if I do dare say that these might be a little bit better than them because hello, Zip up pockets, what the fuck? Yeah, I think every single loose fit anything should automatically come with zippered pockets. That's just me though. Bay actually lost his wallet once because of a non-zippered jogger. He found it like six months later, but it was at my parents' house. So life lesson, when it comes to baggy, always get the zip pocket going on. So yeah, I think they're really such a cute look. Again, five inch inseam, so these are the shortest shorts that the Gymshark's men section offers. So definitely hit it up. Size small's where it's at though for me. This is working right now. When I don't have it tied in the front, you can definitely see, like look at this room right here. There's no doubt about it, like I need to keep it tied. But when it is tied, I really love the look it gives. It gives a very cinched, just like that, nice little bit of wrinkle gathering, but it's trendy. The drawstring doesn't move. It has the gripped Gymshark text written out. So it's very grippy and I feel that once I tie it in, don't even need to double knot it. It really stays. So I'm obsessed with these. These are the most comfortable shorts ever. They even have a seam here under the glutes. If you look closely, there's an actual seam here. Kind of working a little bit for me. Puckering me up a tad. How come the men's shorts have that booty contour on their loose fits? Guys got cake too back there, so hey, you gotta show out a little bit. So talk to me about this really pretty chalk stringer. Not a tank top, it's a stringer. So you have a ton, a ton. Here's what it looks like, completely loose. There is a definite breathability factor in here, as you can see. I think if you really put a super cute, fun, training sports bra like me, I'm wearing it right underneath, and add this over top, it gives a really nice flattering look, like a kind of carefree tank look. Show out those gains a little bit, you know. So it's very, very long and loose. Me personally, I like to style it. If I'm feeling super lazy, I'll just kind of tuck up this baggy area underneath my sports bra, just like this. Just kind of make your way around and tuck it up. This is the fastest way to make your tanks into a nice instant crop. But for my gals who really like to have 
a little bit of that tie knot front. You want that extra little style game going on. I like to just gather the front like this and then kind of twist it up, condense it, twist it around the finger into a knot. So you're gonna pull it right through like that and then it instantly becomes a cute little tie front knot just like that. If you don't like the knot, ta-da! So you could just tuck the knot underneath and it still gives that little draped effect look where it's gathering in the middle. So these are just the ways I like to style looser fitted tanks and t-shirts. But let's look at the fine details of this stringer. It is 100% mesh. So not only do you have the really breathable long drop sleeves, but it's all mesh, so it's extremely lightweight, very much wicking. You could wear this out in summer heat, sweat your bum off, and it is a-okay. It will not retain all your sweat and just look sloppy. Just a casual summer fit, in my opinion. I think this whole outfit is just a winner. What do you guys think? Okay guys, so I also have a normal tank top. In case you don't like the stringer look, it's all good. This is still very loose over here, but it's not as extra as say the stringer was where it's showing a lot of everything back there. There's a lot more coverage with this basic tank. This is their Arrival Marl tank, and I think it works with these shorts as well. Blue and yellow, oof. This is more like a royal, really deep, rich blue. If you look closely, this particular Marl breakup is black, whereas the women's Marl is mostly, if not all, just white marl breakup. So you can style it like I did with the previous stringer, or if you like the more coverage look, obviously, you know, you're buying that loosey-goosey tank, you wanna be a little comfortable in it, then I always like to just put a little dabble in the front like this, huh? What do you think? And kind of have it casually hang a bit. Looks really effortless, like you didn't try, but yeah, you tried. Straight up, you can rock and roll these tanks with some high-rise, tighter-fitting jeans, and I think it would look really stylish. Guys, I did not pre-plan matching this blue with the quad shorts, but this works. The blue and yellow, hands down, wins. All right, guys, let's talk some joggers. I think these are the hits of the day. These retake woven joggers are in the color dark green. Look how they just taper down. See, this is what I mean. The men's section has more of like that tapered slim fit, so this size small works for me. I straight up believe that the size small in men's joggers are a bit more form-fitting on me than the actual Gymshark women's small. Isn't that crazy? Like when I buy small in women's, it's a little bit baggier. The men's small, look at this. These. <laughs> These are crazy. The fit reminds me mostly of the Pippas because the Pippas have this very tapered look, but it has more of a silkiness to it. It's a little lavish, if I do say so myself. The dark green's beautiful. It has a dark turquoisey green. I wouldn't just call it forest green. It's not obsidian green, I wish, but it has more just a darker bluish green look to it. So in some lighting, it could look a tad more on the shinier side. But again, you do have the zippered pockets that I love because it's more form-fitting. It's definitely complementary to the glutes. You even have a little seamed action above here, highlighting your backside. Right inside the band, you have your drawstring. So as long as this is tied, I can totally just move around, squat around. Oh my God. <laughs> do what I gotta do. And it's really not going anywhere. Such a nice stretch, so comfortable, and even with it form-fitted like this at the bottom, it is still stretchy. I got in these no problem, and the length, I'm five foot three, the length on these? Okay guys, so I had to throw in this beautiful turquoise Apollo t-shirt. This is a muscle fit t-shirt, so uh, yeah, I could definitely feel it hugging my muscles up here. It's definitely more form-fitted for you gals out there who don't want it too loose up here. This right here, this is where it's at, okay? So it's touching up on the body a little bit more. I dig it. It is super long, okay? I just pulled it down the best I could. This is very long, almost like a dress, a Gymshark dress. Gymshark, please come out with dresses, thank you. If you know me, you know I love everything and anything in the color turquoise and white especially. So when you have that contrast, I'm all here for it. So yeah, I think you could do a lot with this t-shirt. You can keep it really casual, kind of have it baggy around the waist area. You could also do the little tuck in, the crop, you name it, but 
Overall, for a $20 t-shirt, I thought this was just a really great addition to throw over a set. It's got an insane, and I mean an insane stretch. So don't think it's too more bidding where you're gonna be like, ah. It's got a really great stretch up here, as you can see, and very, very lightweight. I gotta say so far, everything I've tried on from Gymshark's men's section, nothing is boggy. Nothing's weighing me down. Everything feels like a feather. Just how I like to live my life. Very light and carefree, if you dig it. So here I kinda tucked it in a little bit, leaving it a little bit baggier, like a looser crop. Obsessed with this large logo. Bay has the same one, but in black. Yes, he does. Wow. Oh. Mm. Oh, Bay's rolling it up. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're gonna double roll, right? You're gonna double roll it. Double roll. I'm gonna show out my muscles a little bit back. Dang, you really do look good in this t-shirt though, look. It's showing your muscles. Those are my man boobs. <laughs> oh yeah. Bay knows how to style me better than I know how to style me, apparently. She needs all the help she can get. Thanks, bish. Yes, I'm loving the sleeves rolled up. Just like that. Really cute feminine look. It's turquoise, we can't get enough of it. Thank you very much. All right guys, we got another jogger. Oh, oh, oh man, these fit so great. These are the men's chalk joggers in the light gray marl. So I don't know if you guys remember chalk women's joggers last year, but there was like the hole in the knee, the all over print, really beautiful colors, loved it, but they were really baggy on me. These, are you getting this? Bay, are you getting this right now? So. I am starting to see a trend. The men's joggers are clearly my favorite. <laughs> if you're a lover of the joggers, hit the men's section. Uh, again, you've got the zipper pockets. They just are really on top of it here. You have the Gymshark text written down all in the same color. So you don't have any crazy obnoxious logos. This is very neutral. Again, the tapered legs. I am feeling the material hit all the way up to right about here. Then it bags up slightly and gives me room where I need it. You also still have the seamed little booty pucker upper, I like to call it. <laughs> nice breakup around your tushy area. It's a little bit bunched up right around here. You have the ribbed ankle cuff, but I don't mind it because it's a jogger. You know, it's meant to be having that slouchy casual look. My Pippas do the same exact thing, so I don't mind any. But uh, yeah, again, the fit is similar to Pippa, but in terms of it staying up, it does really well with the drawstring. You have the gripped logo here too, so I don't know, you guys. I would totally rock these. These are a little bit warm too, okay? So they feel a little more cottony, definitely stretchy, but I feel a little bit of warmth in these. So these are perfect for fall coming up. Wearing them casually out, this is where it's at. Not so much the gym for me, but definitely snuggling around and just feeling really cute, casual and out. Okay guys, we have the red camo arrival t-shirt. Huh, this is so breathable and light. This is one big mesh. I love this fit. It feels like I'm wearing nothing. That's spectacular. I had to get this because I'm a huge fan of the camo, girl. Who isn't? Bay actually has this matching shirt. That's another reason why I wanted to get it. Come on, Bay. Come on, you know what time it is. Oh, it looks 10 times better on you, though. It's a little, yeah, you, you look good, all right? Flex up in that camera, show out a little bit. I know a lot of you gals really like to wear looser fitted things at the gym for comfort reasons and to be a little more conservative. So I don't see why this wouldn't be right up your alley. This is perfect. Wearing with even a tight pair of leggings and just kind of keeping it looser and breathable on top. I think this is a really nice asset to your gym look. They also work with these joggers since they're so neutral. But if you look up close and really get an up close look of this red camo, it's got a really nice faded light red, darker, deeper reds, even a burgundy plum color. And you also have black right in here. So if you were to wear just staple black leggings or black jeans, this would just kind of flow beautifully. Okay guys, last but not least, I had to throw in a hoodie, all right? So fall and winter coming up, look at this arrival hoodie in light blue. This blue is beautiful. 
It's light, but it's still very saturated. The outside of this feels so silky. It's a little bit shiny. Because of the insane wicking properties all over here, it just kind of gives that little bit of shine. It's very glamorous, I'm not gonna lie. What I find to be really interesting about this hoodie is even though you have the wicking silky properties on the outside, the inside has two different kinds of materials. They actually have the mesh for your pocket. So your little hoodie pocket right in the front here, okay, that kangaroo pocket, if you will, has the mesh. Upper, inner part right here, and your sleeves are all plush, so it keeps you warm. What I am noticing about the men's tops, Bay even says they're a little bit long, okay? Men's tops are a little long. Let's see how you look. We got a matching hoodie here. This is gonna be us all winter long. Hurry up, come on, Bay. Yeah. Okay, take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> All right guys, so that wraps up today's video. What are your thoughts on the Gymshark men's section? Who would have thought that that section had so many gems? I don't know about you, but I am particularly fond of their bottoms. I absolutely love their joggers. I think my actual favorite piece though, out of them all, would be their quad shorts. I think they are just, the best thing to live in. Drop a comment below if you've ever tried anything from the men's section. What are your thoughts and what did you get? Or better yet, what do you steal from your bay? Thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you are not subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I make Gymshark videos almost weekly, always talking about the unreleased products that are launching in the very near future. <coughs> Vital and energy seamless <coughs> and butterfly animal. <laughs> That's all coming soon once I receive the products. So stay tuned for that. You do not want to miss these upcoming launches in the month of August, I promise you. But do not get it twisted because TikTok sees hauls first. So definitely follow me over there. It is at Gata with three A's. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.